I don't stay down, I keep fighting, and I will succeed no matter what it takes. I know I've never had restaurant experience. I know this is gonna be a challenge. You're not gonna see something like this in my restaurant unless you're gonna hire somebody else because I'm not gonna serve this. Everything on the project has been mismanaged to astronomical proportions. In Los Angeles, California, even when you're living the American dream, sometimes you still want more. James Castro has it all. A great job, a great wife, he's fit, he's only 28, and he's rich. I like to see how far I can push myself. For some reason, it's never enough. James is a successful investment banker. Somehow he thinks he also has to be a restaurateur. There's no question that the restaurant business is one of those sexy industries, glamorous industries that everybody wants to be a part of. He has absolutely no experience in the restaurant business, but he bought this disaster zone on Sunset Strip and hopes to turn it into LA's splashiest new joint in eight months. James has 1.75 million to make it work, 250,000 of his own money, 1.5 million from investors. Nationwide statistics will tell you that restaurants uh, have the lowest success rate of any venue or any um, business venture you can pursue. He's taking a big risk with the design too. He's hired a couple of guys who've designed amusement and theme parks. They've never done a restaurant before. Besides designing, we really want to be operators too. They design roller coasters. They've done a lot of really crazy projects, and I thought, you know what, I want something that over the top. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll the dice. The concept is to bring the best of the beach to the Strip and call it Sunset Beach. Sunset Beach is based on this idea of coast modern, trying to bring in elements that are inspired by being out here on the beach and being coastal, but also mixing in a very modern aesthetic to that. In the bathrooms, um, we don't have any music or anything, but we have the sound of waves crashing. I'm now interacting with these really unique characters. We have a moat in front. There's definitely a sense of water. I need to tap into my creative side a lot. For now, it's a perfect match. I love working with other people. I love learning new things. We take a lot of liberties in and moving him in the direction we think it should go. It's all a new adventure for a boy of very modest means whose parents emigrated from Colombia. Failure has never been an option. <laughs> I never wanted to show my parents any weakness because they showed such strength. My dad was laid off when I was in um, high school and I didn't know for a year. He would, he would get his briefcase and he would drive off like he was going to work every day and he had absolutely nowhere to go. Five months later, construction has come to a halt. Permit problems with no end in sight. I'm nervous. The delays are costing him money. He's slashing the budget and his designers are chafing. What we did is we designed a chair that basically allowed people to sit in the cup of it. Our budget's gone in half, uh, and it feels like it's gone in half twice. Basically, uh, want to go with... Uh, Something really inexpensive. Yeah, we're doing... <laughs> We've How many times? Yeah. I mean, one. <laughs> How many times did I say he'd say the least expensive thing? I'm focusing on the budget right now, and if we can't afford one of his design elements, I don't particularly care. If we go buy everything off the shelf and nothing's really original and cool, no one's going to write about us because no one's going to care. And as much as James needs it to be a financial success for a restaurant, we need it to be a creative and, and design success for the foregoing success of our business. Remember, you really want that PR, especially in LA. You don't want to just, I mean, the food will do you good, but the design will do you double. James is having trouble in the kitchen, too. He hired chef Joseph Gillard, who thought he'd be in the kitchen at Sunset Beach by now. I basically uh, update the menu every season, hoping that when I, uh, when I open, I've got, got the right menu. Chef Joseph also thought he was being hired for his extensive high-end experience. At another restaurant, he's been working on items like seared ahi tuna burgers, or his poached lobster and roasted beets on grits. But they'll have to go because James now thinks Sunset has to be more popular. So off the mark, just way too upscale. He's very talented, he's very good at what he does, but he just doesn't know 
how to get out of this mold. It just doesn't fit, James. But, but ultimately, it's my decision. I, 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 seriously, I like this. I I there's the no thought behind why you want the window where you want it. In Los Angeles, an investment banker is having nightmares about Sunset, his first foray into the restaurant business. There were so many nights where I would just wake up in a cold sweat thinking, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? It's three months before Sunset is supposed to open. Today, James is planning a showdown with his chef over the menu. It's too gourmet. It's not approachable enough. It's not commercial enough. Any project I've ever worked has worked a lot smoother. James has just hired Barney home to be the general manager. Barney has run big chain restaurants before. Am I going to be the solution to all of his problems? No. Barney doesn't think Joe's menu will work either. So he and James are going to show him what they want. I can only hope that it's not uh, you know, beer battered shrimp or peel and eat shrimp or something like that. Take a deep breath. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm speechless. Is there more? <laughs> what are you thinking? That honestly, for being casual dining, I would not serve this to my dog. Are we looking to build a brand and take it other places? Yeah. Again, I'm not a restaurant guy. Uh, I needed Barney to kind of step in and, and help me affirm the direction that we want to go. One here, maybe one in Vegas, maybe one in Shanghai, maybe one in London. This is fried. We got fries here, we got fries here, we got fries here. Everything on this plate is fried. The way the shrimp is done, it's butterflied. How the hell are you going to eat it? You can't get it out of the freaking shell. OK, you can't eat it. Something like this, you're going to laugh out loud, and you're not even going to want to pay for it. OK, I, I know I've never had restaurant experience. I know this is going to be a challenge, but, um, but I'm going to make it out somehow. You're not going to see something like this at my restaurant unless you're going to hire somebody else, because I'm not going to serve this. James got the permits, and the work is finally progressing. Most of the framing is up, but the guys at the site don't seem to be too good at following directions or the plans the designers drew up. Where's that window? And what shape is it? And then, where's that window? I okay. really, really, really need you guys to use this as your Bible. Okay, well, you, you know... This makes more of a statement, and it's going to cost done. me more time and money if we change it. Right. James, he said it's absolutely no problem to move. I like it. But it's not the design, James. Dude, I have been so respectful of your, your design positions because you, I hired you to be my designers, and but this I actually totally kind of like this. It's I, totally I, off. But I kind of like it. It's, it just doesn't fit, James. But ultimately... It's my decision. I, 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 seriously, I like this. I want this, this little window to make a statement. That's all I'm saying. And I think you guys are yeah, minimizing and, it and too it, much. It's it, just I'm like, And it it's, needs to make a statement the way we intended it to. Why? Not because we're the designers. Yeah, yeah, but I'm the There's owner. no thought behind why you want the window where you want it. In LA, a lot of people, including James Castro, live by the saying, when in doubt, shop. James is off to a place he's sure to get his way about the staff uniforms. He wants jeans, page denims, the ones Brittany and Angelina wear. The Sunset Beach logo would go on the front. This picks up a little bit of color right here, something that's like this color, with a little bit of destruction. Isn't it so cute? Unbelievable. <laughs> I couldn't be happier with the direction that we're heading. And I'm really digging the boots, but oh, um, I am. That's exactly the direction I wanted to go. Fun, casual, and summer. So once again, a little retail therapy brightens the day. So what do you think? Oh, those are cute. You like? But that night, the sky turns black and for the next week, it rains cats and dogs. When it finally clears and dries up, there's trouble at sunset. You've got the most unstable soil condition that has completely fallen out over all these rains. The design calls for massive sails out front, held up by steel poles anchored deep into the soil. James demanded they dig the holes for the anchors. When the rains came, it was a disaster. I was not expecting that. Well, uncover it. I'm digging it. Oh my God. You've had about 10 foot of side wall cave in oh during God. this weather. Even with the tarps, the teepees, the berms, everything we tried for erosion control. These holes have been probably the biggest nightmare so far on this. It's a miracle that we don't have a catastrophe oh and a huge God. lawsuit issue coming just from that decision. It was, it was actually your fault, James. Well, I wasn't going to be the one to say Why that. Why is it my fault? 
Well, the timing was completely wrong. Um, this was uh, the so why coordination is it my fault? of this. Because you were the one who was pushing for them to go ahead and drill the holes, drill the holes when the cages weren't built. Well, am I am I an expert? You're a bully, and you have a tendency to make people do things that you want them to do. A lot of folks like yourself that don't have the experience or the or the know-how think that. The only thing that matters is just a lot of bodies working as fast as possible, no matter how much they're on top of each other. And that supposedly will speed up the, the schedule. You're an investment banker. You're not a contractor. You just want to get it done. Opening night is in one month. Now I'm weeks away from completion, and I'm, I'm out of money. And that's our DJ booth. This is our VIP dining room overlooking the Sunset Strip. I think another $100,000 will get us through the finish line. In Los Angeles, nobody is happy with James Castro, not his designers. It, it just doesn't fit, James. But ultimately, it's my decision. Not his chef. You're not going to see something like this at my restaurant unless you're going to hire somebody else because I'm not going to serve this. And not his contractors. It was, it was actually your fault, James. He's supposed to open in three weeks. He's not going to make it. He's so short on cash, he's had to get creative to meet payroll. Unfortunately, some of that creativity resulted in me selling uh, a large portion of my stock and taking the proceeds of, of the sale of that stock and putting it right back into the project. At the bank today, he's afraid that his investors have cut him off. It's been a year and a half since we initiated this project, and they're desperate to see some results. I was expecting a wire. I'm happy. OK, this is good. His relief is short-lived. His designers are unhappy. They're waiting for him at the site, and they're ready to pounce. Everything on the project has been mismanaged to astronomical proportions. I don't think they're as aware uh, as I am, clearly, as, as to how bad the, the situation is financially. I'm not going to promise you we're not going to fight for our design. That's not acceptable yeah. to me. We're, we're going to fight for design. Frankly, guys, I'm, I'm really exhausted. I have a lot going on, and I'm under a lot of pressure. And to me, the amount of time that we've put into this project mm -hmm. uh, and, and haven't been paid in, in a year and a half, you have to understand that we're coming, well, where we're coming from Absolutely is the only so. thing he's promised us is that this is going to get us more jobs. Right. And if it looks like crap, like I told you, I, it won't. I'm at the point right now where I'm so apathetic on this project because, you know, we've never been involved with a client who just absolutely won't listen. I don't have all the money in the world. I don't know if you guys think yeah. I do. He has a certain thing he needs to do, and that is to get it open by any means necessary because he's so far in. Five days later, James needs more money to keep going and he needs more time. Now I'm weeks away from completion, and I'm, I'm out of money again. He needs to take drastic measures to keep his investors on board. He wants to throw up some drywall and host a party for them in only two weeks. There's only one way he can get the drywall guy to do it that fast. I'd be prepared to offer you a really nice bonus if, if you nail the two-week deadline. Really nice equity bonus that will grow f for years to come. And you'll get full access to the VIP area. Um, I get to a point where I think it's over, and I start thinking, how damage control, how do I get out of this? How do I dig myself out of this? Okay. He has a deal. The drywall will get done. Once again, James dodges a bullet. Two weeks later, it's done. Friends and family, and most importantly, his investors from all over the country are flying in. I think another $100,000 will get us through the finish line. And I, I don't think that's a tall order. I've personally put $50,000 in uh, on Monday just to get us through today. Look at this. But there are some practical details that got mismanaged. Do you know what this is? These are the table bases. OK, good. There's 20 table tops over there. And how many chairs do we have, approximately? You've got 10 of the patio chairs. You've got five of these. So we have 10 chairs for 20 tables. For 20 tables. I didn't, you know, whoever placed the order. Four hours later, 
the guests arrive and James digs deep to charm his investors. We don't have a designated dance floor, but it's very groovy, very loungy. And that's our DJ booth. This is our VIP dining room, which is insane. Overlooking the Sunset Strip, this is gonna be like our revenue generator. So like really cool, really high energy. James Castro admits that he is fiercely competitive and still has something to prove. I don't stay down, I keep fighting, and I will succeed no matter what it takes. If this needs more investment money, it will have more investment money. James wins over his investors on the condition he is open in six weeks. I think we need to clean this place up. I'm looking around and it looks like I just gave absolutely everything I had to this project. Everything. In Los Angeles, California. This is our VIP dining room, which is insane. Check it out. This is the James area. Castro has been selling the shirt off his back to make it to the opening of his hot spot on Sunset Strip. How do I get out of this? How do I dig myself out of this? James promised his investors Sunset would be open by tonight. He's almost ready. It took James almost a year longer than he expected and $1 million more than he budgeted. He has suffered blow after blow. Don't have any wine glasses yet. He has only $400 left in the bank. The driveway is destroyed. This is one of those days when I quit. He was hit hard when his mother died just months ago. One of the last things my mom said to me was, stop. She's like, you have so much. You have to stop and you have to enjoy your friends and family. James won't be able to stop today either. It's six hours before opening, and there's yet another problem with the poles that are supposed to support the massive sails. One of them is blocking the stairs. Oh, oh. And there's more. The glass floors for a private dining room still aren't ready. James can't see how the place will look presentable tonight. I think we need to clean this place up. I'm looking around, it looks like I've lost so much this year, I just, uh, I don't feel like I'm whole. James never imagined his dream would require so much sacrifice. This is what he started with. And yet, this is Sunset Beach on Sunset Boulevard tonight. The more casual downstairs is an homage to the California beach and ocean, lit from above as if it's all under the boardwalk. Upstairs is more nautical, an exclusive perch over the LA skyline. James's designers have chosen not to be part of the celebrations tonight. They say the space does not accurately reflect their talents. But tonight, James cannot look back. I just gave absolutely everything I had to this project. Everything. And, um, and I hope it pays off. On opening night, Sunset pulls in the exact crowd James is after. They're young, they're beautiful, and they're rich. In the kitchen, Chef Joe Gillard has won the battle against low-end fried food. Upstairs, it is high-end and hearty. Featuring pan-roasted Alaskan halibut with ragu of tiny clams, mushrooms, and beans. I think what we've created is absolutely beautiful. Seared sea scallops with heirloom tomato wild mushroom salad. Great combo, great combo. Yummy. Chef has created a Colorado lamb steak with a sheep's milk ricotta and lamb lasagna. I'd like to take the opportunity, first of all, to congratulate my son. I'm very proud. Thank you. Good job. Love you, Dad. There is some, something amazing about being naive. It's just, if you're a fighter, you'll make it. No matter what they throw at you, you'll, you'll get through it. It's been a long, hard battle, and finally, it's over. Cheers! You could even use a little more fitted tank top to show off your uh, your body. Sure. There we go. <laughs> yeah, look at that. You're welcome. Very awkward. You wear them well. Thank you. Yay. <laughs>